So, we're with Fallout 4, but we're on the PC. We're gonna have a look at the Creation Club. Ooh. Or, let's say we're gonna peruse the Creation Club. Alright, so. We're not gonna go through featured. We'll just go through the three sets that we got. Alright, where do we have? Oof. Let's go through them one by one. I'm not gonna buy anything. Because, yeah. Worn by the Crimson Dragon Black... Wow, I read that completely wrong. Worn by both the Crimson Dragon Troops and the Black Ghost Counterinsurgency Squad during the Great War, Chinese stealth armor relies on light modulation technology to render the wearer invisible. Creation obtained through quest. Oh, wow. So this is actually a quest mod. To get a piece of armor. Alright, so that's one... See, so I thought it was going to be, you know, you just get it and it appears in your inventory. But that's a quest mod. Hmm. I don't know. If someone... I'm not buying anything. I... As, they give you a hundred credits and that's all I'll ever have. Because unless I see something really worthwhile, like an actual, like, large-scale quest, like, because the, what the Creation Club seems to me is allowance for higher quality individuals in order to make stuff. Now, I don't, that's probably not very good, and I'm not saying that their creations aren't good, I'm just saying that I don't really like it. And a lot of people don't like it. However, if a company a large-scale company wants to create something and put it on the Creation Club. I am fine with that. Remember how NVIDIA made the G made the, their Vault 1080 mod? Which was a high-quality mod. Like, that mod was beautiful. Even on the lower settings that I use on my PC. You know, I didn't have a... Like, the sun shafts and the lighting in that mod are beautiful. If somebody wants to do that and get paid for it because they're a company that has multiple employees, that is fine. However, singular things I'm not really interested in. How about this? The Hellfire Power Armor, which this is also, one of these is also available on the mod store, or on the mod page, because we'll, here look. I, I'm telling you, there was one available recently that's just that. I don't know their quality, you know, one might, I mean, you can only put so many polygons on something. Let's see where it is. It's in latest. There, there it is. See, Hellfire Power Armor. That seems pretty high quality. I know those are just pictures or screenshots, but those that armor seems just as high quality as um the one in the Creation Club. But the Creation Club, apparently, a creation obtained through quest. Right? Seems about... I can't tell. I mean, from a screenshot, small screenshot, we're obviously not going to be able to tell. Alright, that's number two of apparel. What do we got? Horse armor. A joke. Alright. Funny thing, this was actually featured in the original mod video that, cre that uh, Bethesda put out. So, yeah. Creation obtained through quests. What kind of quests? Is it a large quest, or is it just like, hey, go here, do this, and now you have a piece of armor, you know? Let's go... What is this? Modern military backpack. Very different... I mean, that's just a backpack for 400 credits. I don't know how much credits are, but that seems like a lot. I mean, it's just a backpack. Why would you ever pay for that? That's from, a uh, Prey. Alright, see, this, this I can see. Because this is a Bethesda creation, and Bethesda owns this IP. This is fine. No, it's not. Creation deposited into your inventory. Why did the other two have quests, but this doesn't? This would be a neat tie-in if this had a quest. I mean, that looks pretty high quality, but still. You know, it's like... I get why they put this on here, because it's their their creation and technically you're not allowed to port stuff from other Bethesda games like you aren't like a modder isn't but technically Bethesda can it's a lot of licensing weird issues Like you can take stuff from Fallout 1 and 2 and tactics and Brotherhood of Steel and put it in because that's not a Bethesda game but you can't take like Skyrim or Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas stuff that's why um on if you watch my uh let's play series of Fallout mods um, 
there's uh, I have Stars and Doranand from Fallout 2 or Fallout 1. Stars and Doranand from classic Fallouts. That's just the Pip Boy Channy mod. There's tons of those on the Nexus. I mean, geez, there's mods that turn your Pip Boy into not Pip Boy. All right, that's just camo. Ooh, what's this? It's just a slightly darker power armor color. All right, what do we got for weapons? Two. Okay. And creative creation deposit into your inventory. Is it added to the level list? Like, I don't like gun mods that aren't added to the level list unless it's a very special gun mod. I mean, it seems interesting, but it's it doesn't say it's added to the level list. So nah. What about this? Okay. Obtained through a quest. Alright, so this one's a little bit better. I mean, it, you have a quest to get the uh, classic uh, gauze rifle. See, that seems relatively a high quality weapon mod, but. It's eh. World. What do you got for world? A furniture set. For 300 credits. How much is credits? I'm on a controller, Bethesda, on PC. Uh, Alright, fine. What do we got? This is really laggy. Like, holy jeez. So, let's see here. 750 credits is $8. So, almost a dollar... It's a little bit more than a dollar per a hundred credits. No, wait, there is it a dollar for a hundred. That's about a dollar per a hundred credits. So one dollar equals a hundred credits. Let's just get out of this. So, what do we got? That's five dollars, basically. Four dollars, four dollars, fifty cents. So just on this page alone, you could spend four. Okay, that's nine hundred, nine dollars. Eleven dollars fifty cents. Six or fifteen dollars. Eighteen dollars and fifty cents. That's nineteen dollars. Nineteen fifty. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna buy all those, but maybe twenty. It's somewhere around twenty some dollars on this page on apparel alone. That's that's more than the DLCs. Hmm. This page you spend six dollars yet so far. Like I said, I don't mind that these are obtained through quests. I think that's the coolest aspect, that they're actually adding in some type of quest mod, but I mean you know, you could have had like a big item that people wanted to get through this, or something good. Like, th these kind of just seem like I don't know, nothing special. I mean, this is kind of cool, but it's five dollars. When I can go get the mod page one for free. I mean, you know, like I said, it's just right over here. I just favorited it. There it is. I mean, there it is. You know, free. I mean, a little bit different, but still, it's... Hmm. Good delivery team. Bring professional quality content to your game. Last patch in a Bethesda game studio time. Oh, so this was made by the Road to Liberty team? Wow. So you know this is high quality. Alright. Well, that was a look at the Bethesda Creation Club. I mean, there's nothing to it right now, but we'll check back in a week and see if anything's added. So yeah, bye.